there are different types of resolution test apparatus usb mentions seven resolution apparatus types usb1 usb2 usb3 up to usb7 for oral solid formulations up to usb4 are used usb1 is the basket apparatus usb2 is the pedal apparatus usb3 is reciprocating cylinder apparatus and usb4 is the flow through cell out of all the different apparatus are used depending on to the formulation and the dissolution method development pedal is is the apparatus usb2 use various times for variety of the formulations like tablets capsules and the modified release formulations also basket type apparatus is used this video is for the usb apparatus 3 it is called as reciprocating cylinder apparatus and it has some unique features as we know that dissolution testing is a performance testing for the formulation and it ensures the drug release profile aligns with the therapeutic expectations so it is a in vitro test to understand the in vivo behavior of the formulation and the need for the flexible control system led to the development of the usp3 apparatus it is also called as biodis apparatus usp3 apparatus is called as reciprocating cylinder apparatus also and it was introduced in 1991 the design is evolved from biodis with improvement for the controlled testing there are three main components cylindrical glass outer vessels reciprocating glass inner cylinders or tubes you can say and mesh screens at top and bottom of the cylinders if you visit usp you can get more understanding about all these parts operating conditions for usp3 apparatus vessels are immersed in a, a, a water bath with temperature of 37 degrees celsius and dissolution medium volume for this apparatus is 250 ml and movement is up down at the set dips per minute so this up down movement is reciprocation and that's why the reciprocating cylinder name is given on upstroke the mesh contacts the doses form on downstroke sample floats freely dips per minute is the speed for this apparatus working principle doses from inside the cylinder is kept moves vertically across multiple vessels and it simulates the gi conditions like ph and samples are collected at the time intervals typical parameters are the dip rate that is also called as dips per minute generally 5 to 30 dips per minute can be set but it is approached at typical dpm of 15 stroke length is around 10 cm media volume is up to 300 ml but typical media volume is 250 ml vessel per unit are 6 units temperature is maintained at 37 degrees celsius so what is the need for this apparatus though there are usp1 usp2 apparatus are widely used so it is initially for the extended release and also nowadays it is being used for the immediate release formulations also the advantages are realistic simulation of the in vivo conditions like pi agitation from the peristaltic movement you can simulate it enables automatic media changes gastric to intestinal fewer hydrodynamic issues like oval and bubbles and it is customized uh, it can be customized for the agitation to mimic the gi movement this is the picture for this apparatus you can see here different cylinders are there applications are for the extended release tablets delayed release or enteric coated formulations multi particulate doses forms like pellets mini tablets soft gelatin capsules 
for with the modified release also this is used for some of the formulations which contain higher polymer percentage so that the exact nature of the formulation can be known advantages of this apparatus are real time media switching it simulates human gi transit effectively it is more consistent result with other usp apparatus ideal for complex and the control release type of formulations so in a single run you can study the effect of ph onto the same formulation usp apparatus 3 offers a dynamic and a flexible platform for the dissolution study under various ph conditions it improves precision in dissolution testing it is suitable for both the immediate and extended release type of drug products and it is a powerful tool for the formulation scientist and the qc teams the formulations made with hot melt extrusion containing higher amount of polymer those formulations can be tested using this apparatus also extended release formulation can be tested this is a very typical type of resolution apparatus and as a pharma professional wherever we are working in the industry we should be known to this instrument or you can say the usp apparatus 3 so i hope this video will be helpful for you to understand the usp3 reciprocating cylinder apparatus let's meet soon with uh, usp4 apparatus and its application thank you for watching the video